Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in an earlier episode in Serious Factory guys. This will be episode 7. We'll continue exactly from where we left off in the last one. Uh, today we're gonna play with blueprints and some bum bums at the end. I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, listen, dear. Go. I didn't get the fist. Milestone reached. Blueprints reduce repetitive building tasks, further optimizing your progression towards saving Earth, with its beautiful ecosystems, abundant natural resources, and sunsets over frolicking puppies and kittens. The Blueprint Designer allows you to build and combine structures once and then duplicate that configuration effortlessly. Any complaints about the spatial restrictions will only reveal your own inefficiencies. Oh my god, they put that in the game. So, if you're complaining that it's only a 4x4, four four, it's your own problem, mister. <laughs> uh, your own inefficiencies. Uh, this one is not connected to the bar? Are you serious? Must be hooked up to a connection. No, it doesn't. Amazing. So, <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, okay, so, let's begin with the beginning. Okay. Uh, let's begin with the beginning. First, why well, need the coupons in my life? <laughs> because I want to make it easier on myself. And this will be some sort of uh, whatever tutorial for you guys out there. <laughs> oh my god. Give me those. Let's go to the What's Up Shop. What's Up Shop? So, um, no. Uh, yeah, mm, yeah, at the car. Not necessarily for this build, but we're gonna need them. Mm, no. Organizations. I want those in my life in here. We're gonna need those in our life in here. But right now we're doing something else. Oh my god, yes. I saw some picture from Viking Brit on our Discord uh, with the sink. With the copper on it. Oh my god, it looks so sick. It's just so stunning. Uh, foundations. Yeah, uh, I need all that. But, oh, this one. I'm gonna grab that one, like, right now. Uh, but not for what we're doing right now. For what we're doing right now, we need this ones or this ones. Okay, it doesn't matter which one I choose. I like both of them. They both have their place, but we're gonna take only one. Let's see how many of those we have left. 11. Okay. Uh, the railings, they're really good. We're gonna need a cup and the golden one, of course. So this one updates as you go progress. Okay, good. Uh, that's all we needed. And I'm gonna show you in a minute why. When we're gonna build bigger stuff, like higher stuff, it's hard to get up there. Um, I've done it in fly mode. I've done it with the jetpack or the, with the hover pack. It's nice. We don't have any of those in here. Okay, so we're gonna need to get up top, like on the first, second level. Easiest way to do that right now. It's with the cat box. Okay, so we're gonna put some stairs in here. If I can manage it. Come on, baby. Okay. Got it. And then we're gonna put. I don't know, let's see this one here. Okay. And then we're gonna go in here. Oh, these are the small ones. Okay, it's good. It's good. Don't care about it. Uh, I think we can go one further. Uh, this is good, but not good enough, so we're gonna grab that, get it higher, if we can. Go that way. Okay. And now, oh, uh, can I go one more? Are you serious? No, I cannot, because I'm inside of it. Perfect. Having the blueprint machine snap to the foundation is ideal, but, yeah. 
it apparently mine didn't snap but it's kind of good the way it is right now you may want to put one with fences in here because I'm very likely I'll fall at some point but it's fine the way it is that gives you more stuff to play with here. Well, that is uh, something new. Let's see what we got. No, I cannot build on that. What will it give us? It, if it would have been the steel one, it would have been amazing. This one is poop, of course. Uh, nevertheless, good start for multiplying your iron. Ah. Nothing good. Yeah, we need more hard drives in here. It is what it is. Okay, uh, since we know we're gonna fall, we're gonna put in here. Uh, basically, all around. What ways? I wanna like say? Excuse me? Oh, it has the, the magic in there. Well, okay. Give me that. No. Yeah, the stairs. Perfect. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. We can delete this. Put some more here. Good! Now, this will give us like a top view which is gonna be just amazing and outstanding and everything is gonna be nice and perfect so uh, we're gonna start the making blueprints that means we're gonna need to get in here and start what they're already here how did that one happen well Well, this is interesting, but I don't want to use those. I want to do others, you know, exactly like that. So I can put them in the wall? No. Oh, I'm missing something. That's why. Well, uh, edit that one. How do I delete it? Remove, confirm, remove, confirm. I think they're compatible, you can put them in there and save them, but uh, not exactly interested in this, gonna do our own. Again, let me finish cleaning up the space in here, I'll be right back with you. Okay, finally deleted them all, so first thing we gotta do is add categories in here, okay, so let's add a few. And let's say this one, uh, we'll call it Snuggers. Okay, you can select the icon for whatever you want. I don't care about those icons that much. Okay, especially that in here you cannot select something good. So we're gonna leave it like that. Uh, the next stuff will be uh, foundries. Okay, because somewhat in order. You can move them afterwards, don't worry about it. Constructors. Uh, what else? Assemblers. Do we need anything else? Like splitters, systems of splitting. I don't know. We could need those, honestly, but we're gonna just skip over them. So, subcategory. It doesn't matter. We just say apply. Foundry. Edit and apply. 
you can make more if you want to divide them even more well, i'm not planning to make a million of them so it's gonna be just fine we're gonna put our blueprints in this subcategory for the smelters now let's begin building something uh this is your machine you put something in here in case you didn't ever do it uh did it i wanted to say so you come in here you can save it it's going to be exactly what you put in here saved into the world so if you're doing something oh, really stupid in here uh like that it's gonna save that it's gonna put it into the world no matter what you do in here as long as it's in this space in here you come in here you save it you put the name the description if you really want it you save the directory that's why we the subcategory is gonna put it in here okay uh after that you can edit it or just close this guy it's gonna have the subcategory you select your icon we're gonna start with the smelters so in this case we're gonna put the smelter you got a bunch in here color do you really want the color i don't know let me put my own color because i kind of love that color is the color of my something man uh channel uh sort of color i should have saved that save okay and in there is gonna be my blueprint let's say uh we're not gonna save it now yes all changes will be discarded once you finish saving instead of deleting them each by single one you can come in here clear it will delete everything that's in there create the box in here <laughs> create the box in here uh it's not in there but anyway all the, your resources are in there normally i think we had a box in here i don't know it's gone but <laughs> it should be in there let's pretend it's a box in there so now you got a bunch of space in here okay uh basically you get four tiles but four tiles if you look at the constructor it's one tile okay it's exactly like you were building on this floor in here only that you got in here so you're gonna be able to put maximum constructors if you're gonna go with the assemblers this guy is taking a little more space that way but it's always a tile so you can have in theory eight of them but in reality no because if you put them in here guess what you won't have enough place for the splitters in there uh the more the bigger and bigger the machinery harder is the place okay uh nevertheless right now we're doing smelters this guys are kind of tiny instead of making um let's just put them from here you see this is the middle when you're gonna place them into the wall you're gonna have an arrow in here like in here is gonna show you the face of it design them all from the same spot it's gonna be easy for you so we're gonna put the smelter in here uh apparently in there something like that i want to leave myself enough space in here to put a merger or something in front of it and enough space in here to put my first split in, okay and then another one in here now i could save this one like this two smelters maybe i'm going to one place and i want two smelters it's gonna help me like this no it's gonna help me a lot if it's gonna be like this okay so now you have two options either you put a one of this in here or you put a belt whatever you want to choose it especially if you put that one the way it should be like that you know it will be just a deal but you're gonna work a million times so my advice fill this baby up with as many as you can because trust me you're gonna need them all of them we only have a little space in there 
and um, it's gonna be easier for you I'm gonna show you why uh, you see you're not gonna need them why are you gonna quit satisfactory early or what you're gonna need them trust me if you're planning to stop this game playing it sorry then uh, why bother with this guys you know I mean whatever uh in here how many do we have one two three four five six so this is gonna be a setup for 12 of them you're saying it's uh too much check this one uh in them you smelt 30 okay that's only 360 or if you put a mark free miner you're gonna have 1200 so max belt it's 1500 you're gonna need four of these sets <laughs> four for one miner okay they're not too many they're too little later on in the game we're gonna have access to different blueprint designers which is gonna be a little bigger but for the time being this is what we have in here now we have tools okay you may say you will not use it now why make it 12 well you're gonna use it now mister because guess what we have um mark the miners so on a pure node guess what you get 120 um or 240 i don't remember uh, let me out say his name um or that you need to smell if you upgrade that even more well it's gonna be even more now options to you you can come with the splitter here go that way put them all on a splitter you have the space to do in here the same stuff put them on a splitter and go with them and then unite them i don't want to do it like that i don't like it like that i want to put my lifts in here now you see why i made this cat ones right so we'll go with them in there come on you can do this i believe in you it's easy if you want add another floor to this because maybe you want to make a compact building because you know satisfactory you don't have enough space in here you don't have enough space so everything gotta be built on a 4x4 that's stupid because if you have problems good luck uh, figuring out where the problem is why cannot be connected to world buildables well, i don't care about that uh i think a little more up like in there so i prefer to do them like this and call it good are those online i feel like they are yeah you could count the clicks as well so first gonna put this one uh so if i'm in the wall uh instead of having three or two floors in this case because you could make two floors with the setup I prefer to put them one after the other one as advanced and that makes things a lot easier one other thing watch the power because you're gonna need a pole in the beginning and one in the end i like to put mine in here or you can choose whichever side you want but this is how i do it you do it your way okay and I like to go like that. So this one has three connections. Um, I want to put the one with the million connections. Maybe I don't have Kateria on me. You know? Keep it simple. Keep it as simple as you can. That's the best advice I could give you. If you're really crazy, you can have this blueprint and set the recipe. Say, you will be for iron or you will be for something else what have i done here already connected it okay one two three 
Something is wrong here with the sparkle. Way like that. So one in there, one in there. You gotta move forward. Okay. In there. In there. In the next one. I think I made something mis a mistake here. Oh no, it's fine. So you wanna have a pull on the outside in here. Because if this 12 aren't enough, you're gonna put another 12. You know, to connect them, guess what? You just come with a Mark III belt in here, connect to the next batch, connect this pole to the next pole, which will be like in there, and uh, connect the outputs up top, and it's done, you know, just like that. Now, speaking of outputs, let's take care of those. So we're gonna need Mark Jensen here, going to my way. I don't know if this is high enough. I'm gonna go up in here and look at it. Is it high enough? No, we need it to be even higher. Going forward, okay? So, you can do the same thing. Stack pile them in here. On each one, every single one of those. Or just make the first and the last. And it's gonna be a lot easier because you're gonna put a build to them. And after that, only snap the ones in the middle like I'm about to do here let's get up in here see press control it snaps where it needs to be and that's it connect these guys we could have placed them a little higher, apparently. Yep, let's go a little higher. So I put all of those. I'm gonna put my mark free in here. And then uh, start placing these guys. It doesn't snap for some reason. Well, is what it is. Then I try to keep them straight. Yeah. Good stuff. So they are all connected to the power. Let's remove these guys because they can extra in here. Don't need them. Good stuff. Let's kind of, uh, let's uh, let's let's see. How are the belts in? Because if you do it wrong the first time, each time you're gonna put it, it's gonna be different. Uh, it's gonna be with the problem in there. So better check it now. You know. Let's see. Power. Six on each side. Perfect. So this will be our setup. With this boys, we're gonna need the mark free lifting here at the end of it, but we cannot place it because it's out of boundary and you cannot cheese it. Okay, so it is what it is. If we would have had a little more place, it would have been fine. That one can be added after. Now, back in here, we're seeing here like this. I'm interested in Mark III being the belt. If you want to write something in here, fine by me. If not, fine by me again. Your problem. You do whatever you want in there. It's your game, okay? Sometimes it's easier for me to recognize an object by the way it looks. On one point preset. That's it my blueprint it's saved even though it's in there okay so if i go into blueprints guess what i have in here missing something i don't know what cables yeah cables got a bunch in here mister so no matter where i am into the wall not in the middle in there because my truck goes through there 
we will be able to put down 12 smelters. Uh, see that arrow in there? That's the front of the machine. Have I, as I told you. Now, when this one was invented, Building in blueprint mode can further optimize your construction process with snapping and quick dismantling options. Build modes are not just there to make your work easier, they compensate for inevitable human error. <laughs> Fixit understands humanity like no other, and humanity needs you to be efficient and productive at all times. Finished. When this thing was invented the first time in Status Fix, we didn't have that arrow, it was quite the pain. Uh, a lot of work went into this and the result is just amazing uh, now you are able also it wasn't invented in the beginning to dismantle all of this if you press F you can press R and it's blueprint all done just like that it's just amazing in the beginning we didn't have that it's just amazing I'm telling you now I left this one in here you can delete it, reload it, whatever you want. Your products will be in that box that we cannot see. Um, your materials I want to see. Now, we have 12. Well, do we need 12 all the time? No, we don't. Of course not. So now, we're gonna do like this. And we're gonna start taking out stuff. Okay. Guess what? Now I have 10. Do I need 10? Maybe, maybe not. I don't like to keep them like this 10, but you can if you want, okay? What I'm saying is to put a mark frame here to bring the products down and have it in the blueprint, but that one can be easily added. If you're chaining them, you don't need this lift. It's easier just to grab that belt in here, mark free. That belt in there, mark free. This power pole in here, and that's it. Uh, I never use 10, that's what I want to say. And if I use, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, uh, instead, I'm using 8 a lot in my game. Because guess what? 8 multiplier 3 is 24. That's exactly 240 ingots. Or, or. You'll find a lot of those, especially Mark 2 minus. You're going to need that number. So, this is my blueprint for eight. We're gonna come in here. I'm gonna say eight. Okay. Directory gotta be set again because for some reason it doesn't has it in there. The rest is saved. Save blueprint. It's done. You'll also need four and two. You'll need four because 120 you need that and two just to add the extra maybe you need 14 or i don't know 13 for example because odd numbers thinking about words in here uh and um, you're gonna put that set of 12 in another two or something like that i don't know what we're gonna need i forgot how many there are six i believe two four six uh, I'm not using 6, I'm using 4. I know you can put filters when you delete. I don't know why I prefer to do it like this, honestly. I don't know why. But it's better, in my opinion. So we get 4. Same stuff, put your directory where you want them. Okay. Now, as I already told you, you can make it different. Put two in the beginning, then put four, then put eight, then put 16, then put whatever you want, how many you want. This is my way, this is how I do it, this is how I found it. Easy and manageable. I focus only once when I'm building the thing. 12 of them or 8 of them in the case of the constructors and uh, it's a lot easier for me so this one with 2 of them uh, not 21, only 2 
it's easier I told you just to add it up maybe you're gonna need it in there or something I don't know more numbers you know that's it now I can clean it clear it grab my stuff from here and we're ready to begin with something else when I'm out and about I'm doing limestone for example uh, I don't know that will be an odd number because it's 45 per constructors I'm gonna pull out my six constructors and put them in there if we're doing something like I don't know copper I need 240 I need that uh, eight smelters okay here they are just gonna have to twist this this is my entrance I can press H get down there and see where the, do you need to be oh, a little more that way that way that way okay slam it down that's it done you know I get 240 ingots of copper after that how much uh, how many constructors do I need eight or two assemblers easy to put them down easy to make factories this is how I did it this is the master class in here <laughs> for uh, the smelters and the next one maybe we're gonna do constructors for this one it's enough get stuff to do in here okay so uh we have our blueprints in here we can kind of check that one out what else do we need to do i don't know we unlocked a bunch of stuff in here but we're not building much so at this point what are we missing? We're not making gear limiters. We're able to make them, but we're not making them. Our steel factory needs to be upgraded in there. Double, triple, whatever. We need to grab a limestone node and put it in there just to make it work for us. Uh, to have more beams, we need a bunch more hard drives because we don't have the good recipe for the encased beams. I think I'm gonna put an assembly in there with that some of that concrete that we're gonna make and start making in there all right case beams what is that it's copper uh that place in there it's a mess i gotta redo it maybe i'll do it tonight i don't know i don't know we need all that and then we gotta finish the the this phase in here the phase one I think I'm gonna unlock that those. I'm not gonna use them, but we need that power storage because we're building and we're building and we're building and we're building, but this ain't gonna go much higher by itself, you know. So at some point we're gonna need to get in there to the call. Oh, wait the heck! In hey, shit, I got lost. In there to the call and um, put more coal generators in there yeah like another 8 another 16 or stuff like that 90 48 so with that recipe that uh, we have in there and takes the viking brain we'll be able to have a rich transport i don't know, at least 120 i think which is going to be good because i'm not seeing the recipe with in case pipes popping up anytime soon gonna look on um, satisfactoryintel.com and start putting approximative location for hard drives because I know they're more in here someplace at this point uh, I don't remember very much I remember having up here next to quartz nodes one one around here ish one here ish but that's about it maybe one in here somewhere but i don't remember where it is i would like very much to have my jetpack to do this but we don't have it instead we have that wonderful explorer which is parked in here so we're gonna take advantage of this little toy and uh, we're gonna go around with it you know why do we have the lights on buddy b b are they on? They're off. Okay, like that. So we're gonna play with it. We're gonna get out there and do our stuff with it. Apparently it's eating a lot of this coal. That is what it is. 
so I think that into the next one we will upgrade our steel factory that we have in there together we're gonna grab the limestone and plug it in there I don't know how but we're gonna make it happen I'm gonna start producing more beams more pipes bring them over here I'm gonna fix that majiggy by myself uh, and after that I don't know hard drive hunting because I'm kind of afraid to go further with those wicked wicked but I don't want to because the more stuff we unlock the harder and harder it will be to get the recipes that we want in this mammy here also gonna look on the same map of satisfactory intel where do we have a some sam node close by in here because i have no idea ah maybe we have one maybe we need to go around in there or in there or in there we're gonna make it happen is my explosive done in here because i need those novelists to open the way to the crater we do have some perfect uh the way to the crater you know where we went in here well there's a path going down there but it's blocked by boulders we need those novelists that's the idea uh give me that gracias we're gonna have some of those in our arsenal as well. Detonator um, and basic nobelisk unlocked. Most obstacles can be cleared with the basic nobelisk. It is most effective against organic material and is able to destroy small boulders and porous rock. Deployed nobelisks will stick to the first solid surface they touch and cue on the universal detonator. If you do not recall the order in which you deployed the Nobelisks, remember <laughs> Fixit does not take responsibility for any harm caused due to human error, even if those errors are genetic. Genetic, okay. <laughs> Keep that in mind, boy. Uh, okay, let's stop in there. We're gonna need to make that one happen, so we're gonna need the scanner. For that, we're gonna need amazing 50 screws, again screws, the bane of my existence. Well, actually, with this recipe that we're getting here, cast screws is really easy. Oh, we run out of screws. Speaking of, amazing. Stop it, boy. We run out of screws. What do you think about this stuff? <laughs> uh, that means we got a bunch of these. But since, uh. I only have an excess of 22. I've been using everything that was in this box in here. In here, like a madman. They all got, I had thousands. Well, we don't have thousands anymore. <laughs> I need 50 in my life. Give them to me. Oh my god. Uh, I think it will be faster just to craft them by hand in here. The stuff I hate the most. Here we go. Okay, object scanner coming up. Knob detonator. What? Why? Why the shadow? What is going on? Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Okay. So we got the Nobelis detonator in here. We can start playing with those things. We really have to go and grab that quartz and put some power lights in this place because I hate it like this. Anywho, this is our little Majigi plating in here. Let's see. So they cute, okay? You can place multiple. And then blow it up. Guess what? No more rocks. That's what we're gonna do when we're gonna go into that place into the steel tomorrow. We're gonna clean that pathway. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna get rid of these guys, and uh, you, you don't have the chainsaw, it works. But you don't get back the materials. That's 
normal, I believe. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what I think about my way of doing blueprints, if you liked it or not. Uh, if you want to see some specific blueprints, I got a bunch on my channel. I remember doing some, some like two years ago, three years ago. Uh, let me know. If not, well, it is what it is. We're gonna leave this episode in here, guys. Thank you so much for being here watching this. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't even seen more. And if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator with a big accent on it, uh, you can do that by grabbing yourself an amazing membership. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.